Hello, my name is Tim. My company is Sports and Touring, and we are Jaguar F-Type specialists. And you will understand then why we are so thrilled as specialists to have this car here. It is, of course, an SVR, an F-Type breathed over by Jaguar's special vehicle operations, a car with 575 horsepower, which delivers supercar speeds and handling. This is a 200 mile per hour machine, don't forget. And this particular example specified brilliantly cleverly from the factory in Caldera Red, a very rare colour for an SVR, but which looks so splendid with the yellow accents of the carbon ceramic brakes, with the Maelstrom wheels, those lightweight wheels with thin spokes, which add so much to the look of this vehicle. It is in stunningly good condition. It's a very low mileage example, and it is a great pleasure to show you around. There on the nose of the F-Type SVR is the badge that tells you this is a car which has been modified from the standard by Jaguar's special vehicle operations team to achieve the ultimate in speed and power and handling and boy does it deliver those things i often talk about the experience of driving an f-type the way that it engages the driver in the road via the machine it is the most potent link between your hands and feet and your eyes and brain and your journey from a to b the way that an f-type rewards you when you're making progress along the road is very special indeed and I think is what makes it such a brilliantly successful uh, follow-on from the C-type and the D-type and the E-type uh, to this point where we are looking at Jaguar's last ever internal combustion sports car. Well having waxed lyrical about the F-type and the SVR in particular let's look at this one in a little more detail. There are those gorgeous Maelstrom wheels and they are perfect. You can see the carbon ceramic brake, caliper and disc. Uh, carbon ceramic brakes developed for racing. They have uh, different performance when hot to steel brakes. That is when they really shine and they produce incredible stopping power. They are, of course, extremely durable. The replacement intervals are way beyond those for steel brakes. We can see the carbon fibre mirror and side vent and bonnet louvre and there the lightweight carbon fibre roof on this F-Type SVR. One of those things that adds to its speed by reducing its weight. And with the black accents all around the car, this Caldera red colour really does look sensational. This vehicle has been cherished. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. Uh, it has clearly been a weekend toy. It has been a holiday pleasure. It's not been a daily driver. The mileage and history tell us those things. And everywhere you look around it, it is in stunningly good condition. On which note, let's take a look inside. We'll supply the car, of course, with two remote key fobs and the owner's book pack. But no need to actually press the buttons on the remote because among the very many extra cost options specified when this car was ordered new is keyless entry. Just tap the button on the door handle, the handles open, the power fold mirrors deploy into position and we can look into this glorious cockpit. And immediately you have that F-type aesthetic of beautiful compound curves of gorgeous textures and materials and a very modern and sleek cockpit design. The seats in particular, performance seats with the SVR logo embossed in the headrest and they are in this gorgeous lozenge quilted and perforated leather. That's because the seats are heated and cooled. The red contrast stitching looks beautiful and very cleverly the red seat belts were also specified as an option. Looking at the quality of the cockpit, well, the door card is absolutely as it left the factory, unblemished and unmarked. 
you can see that we've got the full memory seat package with lumbar support and Meridian surround sound. The tread plates are illuminated and sitting down into the F-Type. As ever, we have that feeling of being immersed in a space which is as much about art as it is about technology. Uh, the way that the lines flow together, as I say, the textures of the different materials around the cockpit with this beautiful suede cloth uh, accenting the area in front of the driver. It's very special indeed. Above us, the full leather headlining uh, underneath the carbon roof. It's beautiful. Just running your hand along the stitching there, you can feel the quality of the materials. And exploring a little further between the headrests, we've got a useful net stowage. Under the armrest there, we've got the 12 volt supply USB sockets and the micro SIM slot. Forward of that, the drinks holders, the cup holders with a little recess in the middle to take one of those small drinks cans. And to explore further, we will now start up the supercharged 5 litre V8 power plant. There's the start stop button, foot on brake. And as we start up, you'll see the instrument binnacle do its little self test flying display and the centre air vent rise up into position. You'll notice the revs are settling a little higher than normal, that's to protect the catalytic converter. And we can continue our exploration of the cockpit with the centre console. Here you can see the Eco Stop Start button. Uh, we've got the button for the spoiler. Now the SVR spoiler does articulate, it moves up and down. The spoiler comes up at a particular speed, down at a particular speed, but you can also move it using the button there to suit you and particularly when you come to clean the back end of the car. Traction control off and the button for the active switchable, switchable sports exhaust. Those valves in the exhaust which make the exhaust note throatier. You can either open the valves with the button there or by entering dynamic driving mode. So three driving modes on the F-Type. At the moment we're in standard driving mode. If we push forward we go into rain, ice and snow mode which calms this car down. You know, this, although it's all-wheel drive, this is a very powerful car with very wide tyres, and that is usually a combination which causes trouble on very slippery roads. However, rain, ice and snow mode calms things down and makes this car very easy to handle in those conditions. Back into standard driving mode, and then we can go into dynamic or tutti-frutti mode. Um, where the suspension, the steering, the throttle mapping and the gearbox are all adjusted in order to provide a better feel to the car and a pacier driving experience. We've got the beautiful shift stick here of course, uh, trigger on the front and with it falling so beautifully to hand you pull the trigger, move back into drive gearbox mode and from there sideways into sports gearbox mode. In that mode you can shift up and down using the shift stick. I prefer of course to use the flappy paddles on the steering wheel because that keeps your hands on the wheel and it keeps you in complete control of the car during your manoeuvring. Worth mentioning here as we're exploring uh, the driving modes that we've got dynamic eye on this SVR and that is the means by which you can choose factory setup or your own setup of suspension, gear shift, engine and steering and also through this screen we access the lap timing stopwatch, the G meter and the pedal position indicator. You can see I've got some effort on the brake pedal at the moment to stop us moving forward. And we have a two minute graph as well of pedal position, which is a useful tool. These are all useful tools if you're going to go on the track with this car, and you may well wish to do so. Um, this car has not to date been on the track, I should say. Um, but uh, if you do go on the track, these are useful tools for you and perhaps your driving instructor to use as you improve your lap times and handling of this amazing amazingly potent machine. Okay, back to the centre console. We'll come out of drive and into park and out of dynamic driving mode and we'll look at the climate controls. So timed recirculation there, we've got auto and aircon modes and we've got dual zone climate so the passenger and driver can dial in the temperatures that they prefer and you can also select your seat cooling and seat heating. Three stages either way 
very useful in hot or cold weather to keep you comfortable in this beautiful machine. We've got also another extra cost option, the electrically heated front windscreen, invaluable in snowy, icy, misty conditions for getting the windscreen cleared very swiftly to get you on your way. Over on the steering wheel, we've got the left cluster of buttons for the infotainment controls and Bluetooth telephony. On the left stalk, we have the automatic headlamps. Over on the right hand thumb cluster, we've got the cruise control and active speed limiter and the button for the heated steering wheel. Again, in the winter, a wonderful way of making your driving more enjoyable if you've been out for the day. Uh, pop into the car, switch that on, and your hands are warmed immediately that you set off. Behind there, we've got, of course, the rain sensitive wipers. And then just above my right knee, we've got buttons for the lane departure warning for the power tailgate, the rear fog light, and the dimmer switch for the instrument binnacle as well. And that just leaves the infotainment system to go through. Well, it's the widescreen post facelift, very fully featured screen indeed. I won't go through all of it in great detail, uh, but suffice to say that we've got a wide range of media options. We've got DAB radio there at the moment. We can Bluetooth music in as well. Back to the home screen and we've got the Bluetooth telephony, of course, uh, very clear and crisp and easy to use. We've got the uh, climate control uh, screen there where we can, for example, synchronise the two temperatures and bring them back to the same value uh, once your passenger perhaps has got out. And you can also direct the airflow around the cockpit as you wish. Back to the home screen again and satellite navigation, of course. Uh, if you purchase an F-Type from us, we'll talk you through how to uh, sign in, how to get signed in by Jaguar into the in-control account and into your car and how to use the app as well if you choose to do so. Uh, but even without those things, uh, we can simply uh, use the satellite navigation, enter a destination and so forth. And it's very clear and crisp and easy to use. So there we are, those are the features around the cockpit and I dare say as well that you'll observe everything is in very fine order indeed. There are no marks, blemishes, stains, nothing of that nature at all in this very beautiful and low mileage F-Type SVR cockpit. OK, we'll switch the engine off and take a look in the boot. Many sports coupes suffer from having a boot which is simply too small for day-to-day -day use, but the F-Type designers cleverly managed to include over 300 litres of boot space. Yes, it's a slightly unusual shape. Yes, you need to pack soft bags rather than hard-sided suitcases, but you can get golf clubs in here uh, along with a lightweight golf trolley. It extends right out into the sides here behind the wheel arches to get your golf clubs or fishing rods or whatever in. Uh, and there's also a useful cubby hole, by the way, under the floor there where you could put your driving bits and pieces if, for example, you're off on a European road trip and you need all of the safety gear stowed away somewhere safely. And again, one of the options selected when this car was specified, the powered tailgate. So a button push either on the remote or on the tailgate itself causes the tailgate to rise and fall at your instruction. We'll move around and take a look at the passenger side of the car. And you can see that this side, the door handle is still uh, fared into the side of the car. That's because two stage unlocking is, is uh, set on this particular F-Type for security purposes. So we need to unlock the second door handle there. And then we can see the illuminated tread plate there, the door card, which again is in perfect order. And into the cockpit, the dashboard, carpet, carpet mat, center console, and this beautiful performance seat are all in stunningly good condition. I dare say, in fact, that the passenger side of this car has very seldom been occupied. Let's move on and take a look under the bonnet. Under the bonnet, and the first thing you'll notice if you've looked at other F-types under the bonnet is that there is no engine cover, and that's because the temperature control in this engine bay uh, requires that the air moves freely around above the engine 
and above the supercharger, which is what we're looking there, and therefore there is no plastic engine cover on an SVR. Instead, they are fitted with this metal heat shield, which protects the underside of the bonnet from getting too hot. And under the supercharger then, that five litre V8 power plant. A power plant from Jaguar, of course. And if we think back through Jaguar's glorious history of motor manufacturing and motor racing and design and engineering, we know that there is an enormous amount of expertise in V8 engines in Jaguar from the XKR, which uh, arguably, I suppose, was a forerunner to the F-Type, and way before that, uh, V8s have been a hallmark of Jaguar's production, and I dare say they are very expert indeed in that particular area. Here you can see everything is in perfect order. Uh, the engine bay is just as it should be. The service history, by the way, a mix of main dealers and independent with a recent independent service in June this year. Uh, the car's passed all of our inspections and tests. It drives absolutely perfectly and performs truly brilliantly. And when I say performs, the 0-60 figure for this car is 3.5 seconds. And the top speed, as I mentioned earlier, is a genuine 200 miles per hour. To get to that speed, you have to enter VMAX mode. So you select dynamic driving mode, press and hold the spoiler button, and VMAX mode is then enunciated on the instrument panel, and you can achieve the top speed of 200. It's a breathtaking car on the road or on the track. The combination of handling, acceleration, outright speed, the performance of the ZF gearbox, by the way, which is a renowned gearbox, both in automotive manufacture and in motorsport, uh, and really is the crowning glory, perhaps, of the powertrain of the F-Type. And worth mentioning, of course, this is an all-wheel drive car, but it's an intelligent all-wheel drive system, which feeds power to the front end of the car, as and when the car determines that it is necessary to do so. Otherwise, the power is sent to the back axle, as you might argue it should be in a British sports car. Uh, all over, then, the F-Type is just such a, a brilliant package, and this one, I dare say, is a stunningly good example. So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a huge pleasure to show you this gorgeous F-Type SVR. We're sports and touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to telephone, email or WhatsApp us if you've got any questions or if you'd like to see this car in person or by video call. It'll be a pleasure to send you a link to the Google Drive. That's our online folder of higher resolution photos, which you can zoom in on, and PDF copies of important documents. If on your buying journey you've got a car to dispose of, we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience. And if you would like to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorised and regulated by the FCA, and we work with a really brilliant broker. Do please take a few moments to read our reviews in Auto Trader. I am very proud indeed of the things that our previous customers say about us. And I'll close by saying thank you again. Please feel free to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube. And we will look forward to hearing from you very soon.